How's it going everyone? Tryhard Casual here with another episode of the Konar Slayer. On today's episode, we're killing hellhounds in the catacombs of Karen. Before we actually start though, I want to apologize. So you may have noticed I pulled a video a few weeks ago and today's video should have been a 99 runecrafting video. The short version is that I'm taking a little bit of a break from non-Konar videos. I'm really trying to hone my skills a little bit and learn how to do new things and it just takes a little bit more time than my weekly scheduled allowance lets me. I put out a bigger message in it in my Discord if you want to read it. So I'm sorry that's delayed, but for the time being I'm just going to be making some Konar videos. So let's hop into this one, we're doing Hellhounds in the Catacombs of Karen. Okay, so killing Hellhounds on this task is probably my preferred method for killing Hellhounds anywhere actually. When you're inside the Catacombs of Karen, anytime you bury a bone you get one prayer back and that's just tremendous for camping prayer on a task and that's perfect for Hellhounds on top of it. You know, beyond that, Hellhounds don't drop any loot, basically, so the chance to get those totem pieces being in the catacombs is also just a nice bonus. Like I said, it is multi-combat down there, so I think the best way to go about this is just camp melee prayer the entire time. Melee is always the preferred combat style because of how much extra prayer the proselyte armor can give you, or monk robes if you don't have proselyte unlocked yet. So really on the gear side, it's not too crazy, very straightforward. So instead, I think we can focus more time on our inventory which is actually also very simple and straightforward. For my spec weapon, I'm going to have a Saradome and God Sword. The special attack, Restoring Prayer, is just a no-brainer on this task. I'll also have some Super Strength, some Super Attack. I'm also going to load up on a ton of Prayer Potions. You might need more or less depending on what your combat stats are looking like. Like this, for example, is probably overkill for me. I don't think I'm going to need all those. I did mention earlier that whenever you bury a bone in the Catacombs of Karen, you get one Prayer back. If you have a Bone Crusher in your inventory, it'll automatically do this for you and constantly give you one prayer back with each kill. Definitely bring a Bone Crusher if you have one. And on top of that, to extend all of our prayer potions, I'll just have a Holy Wrench. It'll save you a little bit of money on the task. I'm also going to have a House Teleport to get out. Looking at the map, the Catacombs of Karen will be right inside the middle of Karen. The best ways to get there are Zarek Talisman Heart Teleport or just a regular Karen Teleport. So if you don't have those unlocked just yet, you can go to a house party world and use someone else's house portal to actually get there. I basically did that every time before I had anything unlocked when I wanted to get to Karen. So the only thing you need to be aware of is if it's your first time on Karen, you need to talk to Vias at Port Sarim to get here for the very first time. Once you actually go inside the catacombs, you just have to go to the left and then the hellhounds will be right in this little section for you. Okay, it took me forever to find an open world, but here we are down in the catacombs. All the hellhounds will be right in here, it's really nothing too crazy. Just want to put on your quick prayers to protect from melee, preserve, I wouldn't use piety, you know if you want to flick it, that would speed up the task. So yeah, that's honestly all there is to it, just gonna put on the prayers, start the timer, I mean you guys know the drill, I do this every time. So I'll see you at the end to look at all the loot we're gonna get, cause we're gonna get a ton of it. So I really wasn't expecting that 99 during the task, but I can't complain with that. It also only took us 48 minutes to complete the entire task. Loot-wise, we ended up with absolutely nothing. But I mean, I guess we did get the hard clue scroll and a single ancient shard. I was really hoping for a brimstone key, but we didn't get even one of them, so that kind of sucks. I guess you expect that getting into hellhounds, though. That is going to wrap it up for this one, though, guys. Remember, I have a whole playlist of different Konar guides if you want to take a look at a different monster or something. So yeah, I hope you guys have a very wonderful weekend, and I'll see you next week for the next video.